everything's coming together. I just want to kiss it. Mwah. Am I overthinking it? Let me overthink for a second if I'm overthinking it. <laughs> My name is Katrina and welcome to my home and welcome to Moonbelly Makes, which is where I share all of the projects that I love to make in the realms of cooking, crafting, and baking. Today is a crafting day and I'm gonna actually share with you part three of three of finishing making a fabric bouquet for my best friend Lauren to carry down the aisle at her wedding. I had so much footage for this project that I had to separate it out into three parts, but today I'm just gonna dive right in as if you've seen the other two parts. So if you haven't, go do that first before you come back here. I have so much footage of me just like talking to the camera and making flowers, but there was a lot of just ramblings, which I will definitely spare you from. I think it was really rambly because I was really nervous about the outcome of this project. I was really, really tired because I've been working on it so much. And I think I was kind of just like creatively tapped out as well. But I do think it's very interesting, especially if you want to do a project like this in the future. So speaking of rambling, I'm doing it again now, but here is how I did it. Here is part three. Good morning. I started my day making a card because it's a wedding and they need a card. So I just finished this. It's of course got hot glue strings like everything in my life right now. So card, let me show you what I worked on last night. Okay, this is where we're at. These, I wanted these to be long. So I did them and I thought like, oh, the flowers are little. It's gonna be fine, but they're actually super heavy. This isn't the only one. So I'm gonna have to put these near the middle. So I, I know that when I'm actually arranging it. Which ones did I do last night? I did this one last, see hot glue, hot glue everywhere. Um, I did these, they still need butts. Maybe I'll take those out. The ones that need butts. Three of them, slightly different on one of them. What else did I even do last night? Oh, I, the ones I did, I didn't put on wire yet. That's why I like can't find them. I, I guess I didn't also, I was really tired. I don't think I really did that much. Two little gold roses. This one was the second one and look how much better it came out. I might just not use this one because this one is so much better. Cat hair, glue strings, oy vey. Okay, so I have those two. Um, and then I made these, oh, I love these. Look at these beautiful little gold ones. I've made a couple like this. They're the same exact, the same exact little version. I have two that are like this. One that's more purple and then this one that's more pink. And then I have uh, this blue one that was looking a little limp. <laughs> I'll, just, I'll just reinforce the wire and I think it'll be okay. Um, this blue one that has a, a very different style of flower, but it's still assembled the same way. I was thinking I would do the same thing with these gold ones. After looking at this, there's like a lot of purple and blue and pink, and I just didn't have as much orange and yellow fabric. I really just used like what I had. So I think it might be better. I might put these all on individual and then just kind of pepper them throughout. So there's just like little gold kind of pops kind of breaking things up. So that's my plan for those. I'm gonna get going on that probably first thing. And then I have these, I made little velvet centers for these guys. And I think I might put two together and then two together and four. I had a failed experiment. <laughs> I wanted to do something with this purple brocade that I've used for a couple of things. And I tried to cut it out like the eucalyptus shape that I used for making the eucalyptus strands. I don't know, it maybe could work. I'm not sold on that yet. And I'll, honestly, if I don't use that, like I probably have enough. I could stop right now. I know I could stop right now, but I'm not going to because I want it to be really full, really lush, have a lot of greenery still. So I'm gonna spend some time on the greenery. I feel like I've said that every day and I haven't actually gotten there, but maybe today I actually will. I have one last tray right here of already cut out and stiffened petals. And hopefully maybe I'll just do two more trays or maybe two, four more trays worth of petals. I still have some, some colors that I want to use that I haven't used or haven't used fully yet. But I do think I've done, like, I've definitely done the bulk of it. <laughs> it's got some weight to it. 
I think it looks really good from the side, but doesn't it look good from the top? Ah! Uh, it's coming together. I just want to kiss it. Mwah. Oh, this is one of my favorite flowers. Almost nothing. It's like almost a little nothing. It's just like white, purple, and then the, the lime green. I just, I love that one so much. This one I named her Lux. <laughs> Look at that. I don't know, you can't even tell how shiny it is. There we go. Get the light reflected on it a little bit. Gold Lame, pink brocade, and then purple Lame with a velvet butt. It's, it's Lux. It's glam. This one, this little tulip is really special to me because the pink fabric, it has a really subtle textural stripe. This is the last scrap piece from the dress that I made for Lauren's 21st birthday. We made dresses together with my mom. We made the same pattern. We just did our, our belts a little bit differently. And it was a pattern that of course we altered. Like we wanted it to have this like low V back. I'll try to put a picture in so you can see where we've come from 10 years ago. It's just, it's very sentimental. The other thing that happened last night is I used every last piece of the adhesive. It is gone. This is the final piece of fabric and it is going to be a rose. This is one I should have started with because this is one of the most beautiful fabrics in the box from my mom. Oh, look at it, catch the light. Uh, ah, it is so gorgeous. It's like illuminated from the inside and so it looks so good outside. I need to think of the exact right shape of flower to make with this beautiful blue. Oh, it's so soft. I guess I'll know it when I see it, right? That's kind of how this whole process is working out, so I have the faith. The other thing that I'm toying with is what the heck to do with the ribbon. I showed this to Lauren and she loves it, but she's worried it might be too busy with the flowers being so busy. And I had that same fear myself. I just don't know if it's, like it goes, it definitely goes, but is it too much? Is my love of it overshadowing whether or not it's actually the right choice? I'm just such a maximalist, it's hard to know. If you watched part two, you know that I kept saying I was gonna make greenery and then I never did it. This was the day. I finally cut out a bunch of leaves, as well as more centers and some more petals, like this for the red rose before I got back to wrapping centers and gluing petals. some longer wire to make some taller leaves and my dad suggested this way of making my thin wire into something stronger and it worked pretty well once I got the hang of it. finished all of the flowers. They're done. I'm not making a single flower. <laughs> these are the flowers. I finished with these. I made all the little yellow ones individual so I can kind of sprinkle them throughout. I also have two trays more worth of greenery plus what I already had. I think that's gonna be enough because this is already massive. For the first time for real, today I'm going to work on the greenery. I got some more floral tape, so I'm gonna wrap just the tops of the stems so they look a little bit less like wire. And then I'm going to arrange and secure everything together. The other thing that I need to do today is figure out how to protect the bottom because it's very sharp. This is a bunch of wires. It's like quite dangerous, I think. I have a couple ideas of what I'm going to do to make the bottom less stabby. So I took each individual flower, added a leaf or two, wrapped it in floral tape at the top, and then used my pliers to make a loop in the bottom of the wire to hide the sharp end. A 
a little bit of context for this next part. Lauren had just had a baby named Rhea, and I wanted to make a little something for her to wear that would match the bouquet. Rhea is three months old, and I made this for her to wear walking down the aisle, if she keeps it on. I don't know, she's three months old. Um, I left the ends of the elastic long so that I can make sure that it fits her once once I get there and once I see her, but I think it's so cute. If she doesn't want to wear it, I will. Okay, good morning. It is finally the sixth. I am leaving today. Last night, my camera stopped working, but I finished all of the flowers. There, I put them under a blanket last night so that cats wouldn't play with them. Let me show you what I did. For every single flower, taped with floral tape from the bloom about halfway down. I made a circle in the bottom of the wire so that it's not sharp and I made it flat for some reason. Maybe that was the wrong choice, I don't know yet. And then I added one or two leaves to almost every flower just to fill everything in. I learned as I kind of put them together, you can't really see the leaves, but it's it looks drastically different with the leaves. So it's still was the right thing to do. And then I just organized all of the flowers by color and a little bit by type for the ones that are like springy, outy, like the lavender and like the other more like spray. Is that the word? spray shaped flowers I put those separate into a category and I'm kind of gonna just pick there's not an even number in each category so kind of organized in a way that I can see what's going on I'm gonna take a few tape them together take a few more tape them together take a few more tape them together until I get all the way to the end and then I'll do like a nice wrap of tape all the way around it is 9.15, I need to be done, packed, and ready to go by one. I have everything together, I just need to toss it in a suitcase, um, let my toothbrush dry out before I put it in this little case, and I think, I think this might actually work. Oh, one more piece I'll show you. This is where my camera cut out yesterday. I stitched together the fabric that I want to use for the strap. So this one, I just tucked the edges under and kind of did a little hem. And this can be for the part that will like actually wrap around the stems, something like that. And then this one, I actually backed it with white. So this can be like the dangly part down and maybe I'll make it like look like a bow or something. And if all else fails, like if we decide we don't like this, I also have this very special lime green. Because Lauren's wearing hot pink shoes, I asked her if she wanted to have a hot pink tie as a backup if we don't like this one in person. And she said, too matchy matchy. She said, how about lime green? Which is very funny. This fabric is also kind of a sentimental fabric. When we were younger, we were obsessed with hot yoga and we went all the time. We decided that we needed yoga mat bags that were big enough for a towel as well. So we made these like pretty big yoga mat bags, use this for some of the leaves, it just like didn't work out. So if we don't end up using this beautiful thing, we will have this sentimental thing. I'm bringing my hot glue gun so that I can just kind of glue this together. It's not as delicate as this, so I don't need to sew it. And also I don't even, I love it, but I wanna use this one. So I wasn't gonna put a ton of work into this until Lauren's like, I, that's the one I want. Move the camera like eight times because I'm procrastinating because I'm nervous. My game plan is to put the ones that I know that are very heavy towards the center so that they don't droop out and they have some support. Beyond that, just make it look nice. I started arranging the bouquet and then almost immediately took it apart. It just wasn't looking quite right. I don't know why, but I went with my gut. 
For the second try, I decided to assemble the thing using a jar so it felt more like arranging in a vase, and that worked better for me. I saved the little yellow ones until the end and then scattered them throughout, trying to keep them evenly spaced. I know I'm not alone in this, but I have a really hard time growing up. My friends getting married and having babies. It's intense. I'm also really tired and I worked on this so much. It looks really good. I'm gonna use packing tape. I need something stronger. show her I'm not gonna show her done until well I'm not even bringing it with me Josh is driving it up so she's not gonna see it till Saturday if you recall from part one Josh's mom used to work as a florist so she had this great suggestion for transportation she said get a box like a kind of a deeper box but a small square box and just tissue all around the base the, the handle it sits in the box okay that's what i'm gonna do yeah well this is luckily not as fragile i'm not gonna bang it around but i could you know it's not as fragile as yeah <laughs> then i got a bag of supplies together so i grabbed the floral tape packing tape hot glue gun and extra glue sticks fabric shears fray check a bottle of stiffen stuff and my wire cutting pliers and the ribbon options had gone in there as well. Ta-da! <laughs> Packed up. It is going in the car. I'm just gonna leave it in the car. I think it's time to, to pause this for now. I will pick back up with it when it meets me in Nashville. I can do all the final finishing touches. Make sure there's no droopy flowers. Make sure that the ribbon looks good. And then I'm going to walk down the aisle with my bestie. So see you in Nashville. So in case this wasn't totally clear yet, I had gone early to like help set things up. I had flown there, um, went early to help set things up, and then also was there for the bachelorette that she had a couple days before the wedding. And then Josh drove down and met me. So he drove there with the bouquet in the trunk. And I was so happy when he and the bouquet arrived safely. I've learned a lot about filming my projects since then, which was June, 2022. And now it is September, 2023. I've learned a lot about how to do it. and. Uh, uh, what needs to be filmed and what doesn't. So I think in this project you'll see I like I had so much footage of me like making flowers and talking to the camera and then I have like almost nothing from the actual wedding. So I'll just tell you, I'll just like paint a picture with my words. So we were at the venue, there was this beautiful house that we were getting ready in and then the ceremony was outside and I found an open outlet that one of the makeup artists or hair artists wasn't using. So I sat down on the floor and I plugged in my hot glue gun and I glued the ribbon around the bottom, did some final touches, pulled off as many hot glue strings as I could and then I gave the bouquet to Lauren. I didn't take any videos of the bouquet that day or videos of hardly anything at all because I was just so in the moment. <laughs> the only things I filmed were this <laughs> and this. Tell me why I never wanna be safe. Yeah. Luckily the wedding coordinator had one of her staff take this video of them walking down the aisle so you can see the bouquet in action. Lauren 
also hired an amazing photographer, thank you Andrea, who was incredible on the day and she took these gorgeous, gorgeous photos. She was very excited about the bouquet and I think she really captured it really excellently and I really appreciate it. So you can see kind of how it looked in context, how it caught the light, how all of the different colors worked together. And then you can also see Rhea in her beautiful little headband and her little ice cream onesie. She was so tiny and so sweet and she slept through the whole ceremony. It was just so cute. This project is super special because Lauren is one of my best friends. We've shared making things together for our entire friendship. Lauren is a huge beater and crafter and she also trained as a dance artist like I did. So this has just been kind of like the bedrock of our friendship is making things together. So to be able to do this for her on such a special day it just carries so much meaning and I'm so glad that I was able to to pull it off. And a little side note is that right after the wedding when Raya was still very very little, obviously she's bigger now with different needs, but back then uh, if she would be like inconsolable and crying, sometimes they would just like show her the bouquet and it would calm her down. Which just is a little extra special thing. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed. I know there's a lot in there, but it all came together in the end. All of my projects, including this one, are listed on my blog right there, where you can see more pictures and just a different perspective of the project. I'm also obviously sharing all of these things on YouTube. So for more, you know what to do. If you would like to join our growing Moonbelly community, there are two ways to do that. The first one is to find me on Instagram, Moonbelly Makes, easy peasy. And the other way is to sign up for my newsletter. I send out a monthly dispatch that contains a bunch of things. One of the things being a selection of things that are currently inspiring me and bringing me joy. And another section is the meditation tarot corner where I share kind of like where I'm at with those practices in my life. So if that interests you, you can sign up for the newsletter. It's linked in the description below. And it's also just like all over my website. It's very easy to sign up. I've really been loving the newsletter and the conversations that I've had around it. So maybe consider checking it out. <laughs> Anyways, thank you so much for sharing your time with me today. I hope that you enjoyed and I can't wait to see you in the next one. I have so many more projects to share with you. Have a beautiful rest of your day and I'll see you next time. Bye.